That's it right there. At least some of it. It's it's pretty much done. I got the logo, which took an enormous amount of time, and I got my new shelf. I know these build vlogs people don't seem to care too much about, so I didn't document the entire build process because, uh, yeah, you know, according to some Discord users, this is like the worst videos they've ever seen. So I did want to give a little bit of an update after I've done all the work and maybe show you a couple photos or whatever. But um, yeah, I got my logo up. Look at that. That was a pain in the butt. So I went through and cut all of these out with MDF board, right? Cut them all out, used a, a jig saw or whatever you call it, and cut these out individually. And then I spray painted them black, drilled a hole, countersunk the hole, and then screwed them into the wall. So I was on the fence with the screws. I like how it turned out. I actually kind of like the, the rugged, screwly look or whatever. But the big challenge was the Mai. Like, I did not want screws in the Mai. I didn't think I'd actually like the way that looked. So, back here, and this might take a little bit of modification depending on how the camera picks it up, which I don't think it will. Behind here, I created these little, you know, stud things to kind of make everything float. As you can see, I used some old TV-mounted, like, spacers thing to space this off the wall. That way, they're all kind of floating. Part of me is like, oh, you're going to get a bunch of shadows. But the other part of me is like, oh, you're going to get some depth. So I used the spacers and then I made some or I had some L brackets. I actually had one big L bracket that I had to cut in half. But I made some L brackets or used some L brackets and I made that float. So the Mai is mounted. It's floating. The Bite My Bits are mounted with spacers and screwed into it. Some may or may not like the whole look of that, but I like the way everything turned out. And then you have the shelf. Now, I actually made a video already featuring the shelf, but I literally just kind of threw everything that I have on here, and I have to go through here and clean because I sanded everything down here. Like, I was cleaning, I was sanding this wall, I primed it, and then I was trying to clear out these edges. As you can see, there's still a little bit of edge there, but from afar, they're actually not that bad. Like, look at that. You can kind of see it, and I might be able to clean it up more, but I don't really think it matters. This is a little weird because you can see how the brick kind of like goes down because it didn't line up right. So there's still that. But I did go through and basically like sand these things down and make it to where it was at least a solid line, even if that solid line makes the brick kind of go down. So, you know, when you're close, you can see this. And when you're far away, if you know what you're looking for, like look at that, you can tell this row of bricks does not line up. And that kind of irritates me. It's probably the worst part of this entire thing. But, you know, I guess it is what it is at this point. As far as the shelf goes and all this stuff that I was talking about, I do have to go through and clean all this up and kind of figure out how I want this to work. So I try to put this up as high as I could, but that means I can only really put, you know, short stuff on the top. So I can't put like a, a picture up here. And right here, since I'm coming close to 100K, I want to actually put the 100K there. So it's very possible that this, which I'm still a big fan of, is probably going to be mounted right here on the wall. Maybe. I got to kind of lay things out, figure out how I want them. I do know that I got this. This is my little, my little counter thing here. So I do know that I want this, you know, probably right there. This is going to be like a whole nother thing that I got to worry about on another day because I have to wire from behind this, which I'm going to show you this in a second. That actually took a little bit of creativity. Wire that up underneath, drill a hole, and try not to scuff the wall. So that's going to be fun and probably not going to happen. I'm going to have to do some touch up on that. And then through this other one, and then, you know, hide the wires to where this is, this is wired up without just wires dangling everywhere. And the nice part about this is I, on this side, kind of sort of covered up. You can see behind the wall, there's the plug-in right there. So it's not invisible, but it's kind of hidden. But over here, this was actually kind of interesting. This little cube here, this glowy cube thing, I end up cutting the back of it out. Look at that. I just took this little saw. Where'd the saw go? Here's the saw. I took this little saw, right? It's an oscillating tool saw thingy. I cut the back out and that allowed me, because of the outlet back there, it was like sticking out kind of like this because I wanted it fit, so it was hanging off and that was bugging the hell out of me. 
So I cut the back out. And then while I was in there, I was like, you know what? Let's just hook up another string of LEDs. Like, why not? At least make it brighter. Because now that it's over here and with the green light, which I'm going to have to mess around with the colors and stuff. I was trying to angle them to make them like less intense. But with the green light, it was just kind of fading it out. So I tried to make it brighter and it definitely did help. Uh, so I'm going to hide those wires and kind of tuck that in there and you won't see that plug in. And then all of this will be wired. And then I might add some accent stuff like lights. I don't really know. I basically have to figure out what all I'm going to put on the shelf. You know, maybe new stuff, maybe old stuff. I got like some video cards, some uh, quadro, old quadro cards I'll probably put up. I don't really know. All that's up in the air right now. I just got to see how I like it. But those two things right there are probably going to be what's definitely in the that spot because I have to wire that stuff. The one thing that I wanted from the start of this though was at first I originally thought I want all the bite my bits to, to light up green. And then I thought to myself, you know what, that's too much. Instead, I just want everything behind the M and the Y to light up green. Unfortunately, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that, but I do think I, I have an idea. From Amazon, I ordered this very low profile USB adapter that should plug in behind that and it's going to come in Saturday. So it's a low profile USB adapter that supplies five volt. So I'm going to basically plug that in behind it, hide it as much as I can. I'm going to, have to take some of this out, hide it as much as I can, and then uh, it'll wire up like four strips or something. I don't know if that's going to work out and I may or may not end up doing that at all. It just kind of depends on how that comes out. Ultimately, I do want this thing to light up kind of green, which would be cool, but I just think that with the LED strips, it's probably going to look a little weird. You're going to see the dots on the wall, and it's just not going to come out the way that, you know, I have in my head. So I really don't know if that's going to work out or look good at all. May or may not do it all. Either way, I ordered it. It'll be here Saturday, so it'll at least give me something to do over the weekend. But this is what I've been working on. This has taken longer than I could ever imagine because all of the painting, there's like three layers of paint on this damn wall. And these things, the, the, the creases, I've been basically, if you watched the last video, I went through and I, I did the mudding and the, sat, the sanding, and then I painted it again, then I sanded the paint because I was moving stuff, and then it cracked. It's just been a thing, just over and over again. Sand, paint, repeat, sand, paint, dry, repeat. So that's been kind of a pain in the butt. And I've definitely made a mess. I mean, I got a lot of stuff that I have to clean up. And I got a lot of stuff on the ground, not paint, but just like debris and because I was sanding and like drilling wood. So I have a lot of crap that's actually in my carpet right now. But just to give you an idea of what I have to go through now and kind of clean off, which I kind of cleaned this off a little bit, but this is my camera. And see that? See that? Got this layer of dust over everything. Or even better, over here, I got like, I mean, you can kind of see, like it's just covering everything. By the way, I forgot about that. It's a two terabyte NVMe drive that I was don't I'm not using for anything. I should put that in my main computer. Oh, look at that. See, see that right there. Yeah, I need to use that though. I had lights off though, because you know that's just kind of for working. Like you can kind of get an idea there. Like there's there's the idea. I mean, it's going to be lower. It's going to be like this. It's going to look something like that, right? But now that all this is done, I'm going to go through and basically play with some of the different lights, see how things look. I can rearrange very easily these LEDs, you know, change the intensity. Maybe I'll move blue over to the right and green over to the left. I don't know. I got to play with these things and see what works the best. I mean, as you can see, this is kind of a jankity setup. You know, this is sitting on a box that's screwed to the ceiling. So that's kind of sort of mounted. But I got all kinds of like little tiny improvements I got to do and just play around with these different lights and try to figure out what looks best up against this wall, like what color combination and, you know, how it pulls up on camera. I mean, I've been doing this for almost six years, so it was definitely time for like a nice upgrade, like actually put some effort into this wall and that little spot right there, right there, that's where I'm going to put the 100K. I'm so excited. I'm so close. I think I'm like... 6,000 away. It's going to take a little bit. I've been really slow on videos because I've been doing this stuff and like little baby steps at a time and also other things in my life that's, you know, kind of been uh, 
Oh, it's along like one of those health stories, new meds, that sort of thing. No one really cares about that kind of thing. But I am planning on ramping up my videos soon. So, you know, y'all can stop hassling me on Discord. I'm looking at you, Scuba JP uh, and Liquid Syphilis. Y'all just on me. The funny thing is, I actually don't have a vacuum. Did not have a vacuum. I have this new one, S6. I'm actually testing this out. That's going to be a video soon. I, I broke... I broke some stuff, so I asked for another one, and they gave me a really badass model, so I can't can't wait to make a video on that. But I got so much crap on the ground, and I don't have a vacuum. So I bought a vacuum just to clean up after this mess. I actually don't know if this is good. This is a Dyson. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet because I don't really use vacuums except for the robot vacuum, like that one right there, and then this one that I'm testing out now. That one's over there. But for actual good deep cleaning, you need a vacuum, and now I have one. I just... Just gotta take it out of the box and put it together and use it. If I had to redo this, seriously, I would not use spray paint. That was the dumbest decision to use spray paint. It just does not work very well with MDF, especially the sides of the MDF. Look at this. Like you can kind of see how it's rough and it just doesn't look good. And it's really lit up. You can tell it just doesn't look good. I would have used house paint. It's thicker, it would have went on better. It would have been easier to apply. It would have been easier to make touch up paint. I mean, it was dumb to spray paint. I know this now. Also, fun fact, if you don't follow me on Twitter, I found out that spray paint, when, when sprayed into a very small cup, because I sprayed it into a cup to try to use, you know, to do touch-up paint, it eats through the cup. So I was sitting here, I was doing touch-up paint, and I got a little spot right there. You see that? Yeah, it started falling through. I found I caught it all with my hand, even though I made a huge mess in my hand. I saved it from getting anywhere. But just word to the wise, uh, spray paint apparently can eat through some plastics, especially cheap plastic cups. But anyway, that is the update to my wall. It's work in progress, but I think it's actually done. Now it's a lot of cleaning and then possibly adding some lights. I think that would look cool if it glowed, but I don't know if it'll actually come out right. I don't really know, but it's definitely something I'm going to look at. I think the wall turned out really great, a lot better than kind of what I feared when I first installed it. But uh, yeah, you know, it's simple, but it's an upgrade. However, part of me is like, oh my God, I went through all this just to add just a little bit of texture to the back. It's still a white wall. It's just slightly textured like brick. But the shelves are cool. I like that shelf. This is from bed. This is an amazing shelf. I like this shelf. That huge pain in the butt but I think it looks decent. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you, you know, have some ideas, last minute changes, maybe some glowy thingy options. I ordered some stuff on Amazon, but I'm definitely up for ideas. So questions, comments, concerns, post them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this quick little update and have yourself a great day.